Uh, good evening, and uh, this evening I'm going to have a quick look at this uh, power meter I bought off the internet. Um, came today. Uh, this is an RF power meter, a Marconi power meter. Uh, it's the 6960B. Um, I've been wanting a power meter for a number of reasons, and uh, one of the first times I realised I could have done with a power meter. Um, not the sort of thing is going to get an awful lot of use, but it'd be useful for uh, checking various power amplifiers and things in RF stages. One that was particularly that the uh, Roden Schwartz here has got its an inbuilt option for a high powered amplifier or relatively high powered amplifier. It's a couple of watts, I think. And I needed to see if that was going to be working correctly. Um, so this arrived today, and this is uh, one of the online auctions that I, uh, I was mentioning in previous videos. Now, it, it's uh, the listing is very ambiguous when you see these. All you do is you get a photograph of the item you can see the bag here on top that's all you can see you've got this front cover off and you can see the this, you know the general condition of the unit there's one photograph no information apart from it's a Marconi uh, RF power meter and the model number uh, so you think well you take a chance that all the all the leads and things are obviously in the in the bag a bit of a sort of a you know, a bit of a chance you take with auctions like this because you, there's no one to contact. You can't contact the online auctioner because they, they don't know this stuff is all held in a government's building, you know. Just got, it's been given a, a lot's number and that's it, basically. Um, so I arrived today um, and it's in uh, good nick, very good nick. It doesn't look like it's had an awful lot of use. So let me just show you this. This is the front panel just clips on the front here. And here we have the uh, the front panel. Um, and as you can see, it's in good nick. It's been calibrated fairly recently. Uh, when is that? 2014 it was last calibrated, so that's sort of fairly promising. Um, and it's got the Modstrike label, as all of the sort of North spec stuff has, and a couple of other labels and things. Still got the protection cap over the power reference uh, uh, N channel connector here. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have. I don't really have any idea how these work. I've got a good idea of uh, having looks on videos that it's sort of basically you plug it in and you set a reference input, uh, your zero dB reference, and apply a signal to the sensor input, and this will give you a uh, an RF output or what output in dB uh, dB dBW probably decibels in uh, milliwatts dB dBm or dBW. I'm not sure which one. It's probably different options as well. Okay, so it all arrived, and uh, inside we've got this sort of, inside of the box, we've got a sort of like a, a movable lid, and in here there's various bits and pieces, spare fuses, um, various documentation. I think you can probably tell by my uh, tone of my voice that it, it's not all good. So I thought, well, let's have a look inside the, the, the bag and see what we've got. And what we got was a mains lead. Well, not worrying about that. Um, uh, that's my bill for how much I paid for it and things. This is a previous piece of paper basically showing when uh, when it was last sent away and what was sent away with it. Um, but of course, the part that we really need, it ain't here. And that is the sensor input. So basically we've got an RF power meter and we've got nothing to connect to the front panel. Now this is uh, one of the reasons why there was a number of them lit shown and this one had the bag on the top and it looked like it had all its goodies with it and of course it hasn't. Um, now there's a number of different options you can buy uh, with these, these uh, power meters. Basically you, you, you're supplied with a lead which apparently is the same as the Hewlett Packard lead which is like a uh, multi-pin connector here and you can see it's zoom in. It's it's this connector here, multi-way connector here, um, uh, and that's onto like a sort of flying lead that's about I don't know, a couple of foot long, half a meter long, something like that, and that connects to your power power probe. Your power probe is basically um, an RF detector, as far as I understand. That will uh, then you connect to the uh, actual piece of equipment you want to measure. So. As the unit stands now, it's incomplete. This meter won't do anything simply because it hasn't got anything to detect the, uh, the signal with. And I'll just show you. There's a list of uh, all the different types of probes you can buy for the uh, for this uh, meter. Uh, there's, 
you know, there's different ranges. Now, there's a couple of them on eBay. This is 6910, and I think there's a 6920 uh, on eBay for sale at the moment. Unfortunately, the, the probe is the, f the first part of it. I need to buy the probe, and then I need to buy the lead. Now, the probe is listed at £100 of best offer, so I might contact them and see what offer they'll take. But first of all, before we do that, we need to make sure that this thing's going to actually work, because it's going to be pointless buying the probe if this thing doesn't work, or it's badly damaged or, you know, burnt out or something. Uh, and of course we're only going to be able to test it to a degree because we've got no sense to plug into it. So what I need to do is I need to buy the, the probe and I also need to buy the lead that goes into the, to the uh, unit. And they're not cheap either. So let's plug it in um, and see if there's any signs of life. Uh, and then we'll uh, get an idea of uh, what, what, what we need for this unit. So I think the thing to do is if this does work is to contract down the lead Let's see if we can find a lead of a reasonable price and uh, go, from, go from there. Error 2. I don't know what that means. Let's have a look at what error occurs. It probably means there's no, no heads stuck into it. So let's just check it doesn't mean that the, uh, all the microprocessor circuits burnt out or something stupid. Um, let's have a look at our uh, chart here just to see if we can see what error 2 means. Uh, installation. Error 2, no reference sensor, no RF sensor, okay, so that's basically, yeah, we know that, don't we? Um, so that's, uh, I suppose, what you'd expect, really. So, if that's the only only error, there's a good chance that that's uh, all this thing needs is a, the lead and the RF Pro. So, I suppose the next thing to do is see if I can track down some parts for this. It's lovely condition, it's... It doesn't look like it's had a lot of use, if it's had any use at all, to be honest with you. Um, the front panel's unmarked, it's clean, there's no chips and paints on it. Let's have a look around the back, show you around the back. There's on the back here, you see all these uh, protector uh, uh, end caps for the uh, output level things. This is low, sensor level output. Uh, what's this here? Record and blank, I don't know what they are. Um, it's got the GPIB interface bus as well, so that's quite useful if you wanted to run it off a GPIB and there's various options listed here for one of them, one I know is the GPIB controller, but uh, it does look like this has never been a part, you see the calibration seals are uh, intact uh, there's an external supply here, this is um, what the, uh, come on, Canon connector you know, the uh, I can't think what they're called now can it come to me in a minute? And that's for running it off an external DC supply, so uh, you know that's quite useful. Uh, and you notice that, as with all this military spec stuff, it, it'll work up to 400 cycles. And uh, an RF uh, information ticket here to say it complies to sort of a certain RF output. Um, so basically, I think. It's probably worth trying to track down a, uh, a, some parts of this and uh, see if we can actually get it to work. So the first thing to do is uh, have a look this evening, uh, see if we can find a probe, um, a probe cable, and then probably what I'll do is I'll try and contact the other seller and see see what I can get away with offering him. Now, unless anyone knows of uh, any parts of these uh, kicking around, that would be good. But uh, if not. Uh, I don't think we're going to leave it. We're certainly. I mean, if I've got the complete kit, if I ever needed to sell it, it's going to be worth a lot more with complete than it is just like this. There's a lot of these for sale on eBay. A lot of them coming from France, and just this unit on its own, they're, they're sort of wanting three or four hundred pounds, which is ridiculous because it's an incomplete working. It's not a not a working power meter. Um, should be able to pick one of these up really cheap. And, you know, if it, if you haven't got the probe with it. Um, I only paid sort of 50 quid for this, so I'm not too worried about, well, um, it would have been lovely if we had the power sensor, um, the probe sensor. So we'll have a look, see if we can find, um, find the parts we need, and uh, hopefully make a second video.